Layla is a nine-year-old girl who grew up in El Salvador. When Layla was six, her mother moved to New York to find a job, leaving her in the care of her aunt and uncle, who abused her physically, sexually, and psychologically for two years. Over time, Layla's teacher noticed signs of neglect and contacted Layla's mother in the U.S. Two weeks later, at the age of eight, Layla traveled from El Salvador to the United States. However, this was only the start of a long journey for Layla. In order to stay in the U.S. with her mother, Layla would need to prove to a court that her claim for asylum should be granted because of the abuse she had endured in El Salvador. Like Layla, hundreds of thousands of children and adults seek asylum in the U.S. each year, many fleeing conditions of torture and abuse. Being denied asylum may leave them with no choice but to return to the life-threatening circumstances they fled in their home countries. To win an asylum case, extensive evidence must be filed. The applicant carries the burden of proof, which can be extremely difficult in situations where there may not be physical or visible evidence of abuse. Carrying the burden of proof is especially challenging for children who may have a difficult time processing and telling their stories. Survivors are often poor, lack community and family networks, and may not have many belongings or documents, making it exceedingly challenging to file a successful asylum claim. Nearly two-thirds of asylum seekers are denied safe refuge in the United States, left with no choice but to return to the unsafe situation they were fleeing. The HealthRight International Human Rights Clinic seeks to overcome these challenges and ensure that survivors of abuse have access to the support that they need to be granted asylum in the U.S. In Layla's case, no physical scars were left on her body from the abuse, and no police report had been filed. Layla's attorney knew that a psychological forensic evaluation would provide crucial evidence necessary to strengthen Layla's claim for asylum, and reached out to the Human Rights Clinic for support. The HRC trains volunteer clinicians to conduct forensic evaluations through which they are able to recognize and document the signs and symptoms of abuse and translate these into critical clinical evidence to corroborate survivor stories. The HRC connected Layla with a psychologist who used evidence-based, age-appropriate methods to learn her story. The volunteer's expertise enabled her to help Layla to effectively describe her situation and uncover previously unknown details of the abuse she underwent to bolster her legal claim. This psychological forensic evaluation was given to the asylum officer ahead of Layla's hearing, providing key evidence for her case and ensuring that measures were taken to avoid re-traumatizing her, such as allowing her to draw throughout her hearing or have her attorney sit next to her. The forensic evaluations conducted by clinicians through the HRC are often the deciding factor in whether survivors are allowed to remain safely in the U.S. Nationally, only 37% of asylum seekers are granted asylum, compared to 90% of immigrant survivors working with the HRC. A few months after her hearing, Layla won her case and was granted asylum. This meant that she was able to stay safely in the United States with her mother, and will eventually be able to apply for a green card and U.S. citizenship. Like Layla, every person deserves to be treated with dignity and to have the opportunity to pursue a safe, healthy, and productive life, free from the threat of persecution. Providing critical support to asylum seekers, the HRC ensures that these individuals are able to move forward and make their own incredible impact on the world. There are many ways to contribute to the mission of the HRC and to help provide vital assistance for individuals seeking asylum. Visit our website to donate, learn more, or begin the process of becoming a volunteer clinician within our network.